Roughly 8,000 years ago, across Europe, the last part of the Stone Age was marked by tribes settling down, shifting from hunter-gatherers to farmers. This was the Late Stone Age, also called the Neolithic Age, still before the advent of metalworking. On the Isle of Orkney, at the far north of Scotland, in what seems like just another field, is a remarkable burial mound or chambered tomb. For 5,000 years, people have lowered their heads to enter this sacred space. Wow, this is great. Tell me about this place. This is a burial chamber. And to our right and our left and behind you are three tombs. Mm -hmm. On winter solstice at sunset, the sun streams through this position here and illuminates the back chamber. The stone is sandstone and it's been hand carved and corbelled, vaulted into position to make this beautiful chamber. And how Neolithic man managed to build this structure, no one really knows. By 500 BC, Athens was becoming the bustling center of a growing Greek-speaking world. The energetic Athenians built up their sacred hill, the Acropolis, turning it into the heart of their culture. They topped the Acropolis with glorious temples, statues, and monuments honoring the gods and celebrating their own achievements. This temple was famed for its caryatids, beautiful maidens functioning as columns, striking for their realism and relaxed poses. But the greatest temple was the Parthenon, dedicated to Athena, the patron of Athens. In its heyday, the temple was decorated with colorful painted sculpture. And inside stood a 40-foot tall golden ivory statue. This is a reproduction of the goddess Athena. Dazzling in both beauty and power, both the statue and the temple had a huge impact on people. The temple is massive, 230 feet long and 100 feet wide, made from the finest white marble and assembled here like a 70,000-piece jigsaw puzzle. Its 34-foot-tall columns are simple yet elegant. The architects used clever, if subtle, optical illusions that added to the harmonious effect. The steps intentionally arc upward in the middle to compensate for how a flat line appears to sag. The columns lean together just slightly and bulge in the middle, as if absorbing the weight of the stone roof. Altogether, it's organic. Rather than static stone, it feels alive, with perfect proportions, as if heroically connecting with the gods. Subconsciously, it works, a 2,500-year-old architectural triumph.